In this video, I'm going to be going through the Canva integration that we now have with EdUp. It gives you loads of new possibilities in designing uh, content for your lessons. So here's a course that needs branding. I'm going to click on it, and this course is about meetings. Uh, and then I can click the branding tab here. And then you can see these new buttons that say Design on Canva. Um, so let's start off by doing the thumbnail. Just to remind you, this only appears for authors. But it's good for uh, kind of identifying content. If you have a lot of content in your account, it's good to have a decent thumbnail. So you click Design on Canva. And it's going to uh, have a nice little loading animation. And then it's going to bring up this. So uh, this is Canva. Uh, and this is how it integrates with EdUp. Um, by default, it will be on templates, as you can see there. There's loads of different options down the left hand side, um, uploads, here we have photos, various elements. Um, so when you're starting out, I would try and say uh, potentially you could avoid the templates. They can be a bit overwhelming sometimes, especially for something like designing learning content. Uh, if you were just making a poster um, or something typical uh, that you would see on Canva, then templates are great. But for something like learning content, it can be a bit busy. Uh, plus, we have a lot of options to adding text in your lessons anyway, so I would say just avoid those to begin with unless you're feeling a little confident. So if there's a specific image you want to use, then you can just upload an image here, uh, and then it will save here. So this is a thumbnail for a YouTube video I made, and I uploaded that as a test, uh, and as you can see, it's saved here. Right, so now the main reason that um, it's going to speed up your production of work is you can actually just take stock images for free off of... Um, <clears throat> off of Canva. So here we have our photos. I'm just going to type in meeting. And it's going to offer loads of uh, loads of free photos. Uh, there is um, a couple of pro ones that you have to pay for, uh, but the, the 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 variety is pretty good. So let's just choose this one, and they'll put it in here. So if you select it, make sure it's selected, and then just bring it up to the same canvas size, like so. Uh, and then I think that looks good. Um, so that's the simplest uh, kind of use for Canva. And then all you do is you click publish. And then just let it load. And it's not loaded. There we go. So we have our thumbnail. Now we're going to do the lesson background here. Again, click the Canva button. So a lesson background, uh, you want it to be light, quite light or quite dark. And you don't want it to be too busy. Um, the reason this is because you want the text to stand out and you don't want to distract from your content in the lesson. So let's have a little scroll down here. Uh, I think this looks actually quite good uh, for a meeting because there's a lot of light colors apart from these uh, uh, chinos there. So what we do is we'll just get a nice crop on it, bring it to the right size, right there. So I've positioned it how I want. This is still quite busy and noisy uh, for a lesson background. So what we're gonna do I'm going to click it here. Okay, just making sure it's selected. So we selected it here. Now I'm going to click Adjust. Um, and there are uh, you know various effects you can add on, uh, lots of filters. So there's so much you can do, but uh, I'm just going to click Adjust and keep it simple. And then with the blur, I'm just going to add five. And it's going to blur it slightly. This will stop people's eyes focusing on the background when they're trying to look at the content. Um, that's just you know typically how it works. And then what I want to do is it's still a bit, uh, still a bit, uh, you know, kind of full of various colors. So we can come to elements here, scroll down, and just select a shape like this square. Make the square the same size. Now we're going to make it white. So make the square white, and then the top right here we can change the transparency. So we can leave it on 80. There you go. Um, you can play around the position as well. Uh, there are a few other options. Um, you know, duplicate it. But I think that looks pretty good. So we blurred it slightly and we made it white. So now we can click publish. And uh, there we go. We created our background for our lesson. Yes. Yeah, so I would not recommend uh, creating a logo in Canva. It's going to have a white background to it. Um, I would typically just suggest uploading, you know, your normal logo, um, which is not something that would be kind of practical. Um, so we uploaded a very light background. So what we're going to do is actually just change uh, the color scheme to white with black text. This won't override my background, but it will make it have black text. Now we come to cover image. So this is obviously important. Okay, so let's have a cover image to our lesson. 
come to photos again. Let's go to meeting and just have a nice scroll. Well, this one's already in black and white, so could use this, position it nicely. Again, go to elements, add in a box that we can overlay, make it dark, adjust the transparency. Uh, and there we go. Super simple, takes no time at all. Uh, and now we're going to go into a lesson and just kind of look at what else you can do. Uh, if you make a dark cover image, make sure to change the text to white so it stands out. Okay, so now we can actually see what the background looked like. Edit lesson content. Uh, and there you go. Um, as you can see, you know, you can play around and then get it perfect, but I think the blur works quite well. It's light and the text is it's definitely readable. Um, and that's all done with the Canva button. So here we have a slide and then there is a piece of uh, content missing, which is an image in the middle, which would go here. So I'm going to click Design on Canva. So this is asking a question. So what we could do is we could actually go onto the stock images here uh, and type in question. So there's going to be loads to choose from. Um, if you don't have enough options here, what you can do is scroll down on the left hand side and click more. And then here you're able to have apps and integrations. Um, so the best one for EdUp would be uh, Pexels. And here is just another stock image website. Um, so it just has a little bit more options for you. But then if we close that, um, you can add other things, but uh, primarily for EdUp, I believe what you're going to be using it for is, you know, taking advantage of stock engines and things like that. Uh, these kind of integrations in a lesson uh, won't work. So this is all done through Canva. So we want to just make the most of, um, you know, these kind of stock images that are here. So if we get this guy looking uh, into the distance, maybe he's on a, a dull Zoom meeting. So we have this now, um, which is okay. We can adjust it. We adjust the contrast. Now we can come to text uh, and then we can add in text. So I can put a giant question mark. Like that. I'm going to highlight it and make it white. And there we go. Put the question mark in uh, and publish. Uh, and there we go. Okay, so we have uh, you know text on top of images, which is really cool. So we come down to this image gallery. Let's add an image in here. There are various backgrounds you can add as well. Um, really, really cool. But what we want to do actually, let's go to elements. Um, so there are just various stickers and things like that. But uh, you can even add in something like a gradient. And it easily allows you to change the various aspects of that gradient, which you can then publish. And for the final, uh, the final use of um, Canva that I wanted to demonstrate, I want to keep this video as short as I can. We're going to use a connect template. And now, obviously, you can add in two pieces of text to match up. But now if we add in an image, come to photos. And I'm just going to type in phone. Uh, and we could just grab a picture. Actually, what we could do is we could come to elements. Instead of getting a stock photo, we can come to, where is it? Frames. Right, so we can get a phone here. Uh, and then should get yeah, there you go. So you can drag images into this frame. Okay, I have this medical stock image here. Uh, 
like so. And then we can add some text. We'll just have phone. And then you will want to make the text uh, quite big so it can be readable. Like that. And then we're going to click publish. Obviously, you probably want to spend a little bit more time on it than I have. Um, but there you go. As you can see, it says phone, it has the phone on it. Um, and now you're easily able to connect. Uh, connect up and complete the game. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you can get a lot of good uses uh, this Canva button now and uh, create even better lessons. But it's super simple. Uh, definitely don't be afraid to play around with it. It's made my, uh, my life a lot easier for sure, not having to go onto external websites looking for stock images and things like that. Um, also with the editing capabilities of adding in text as well, it makes everything very, very quick. Um, so don't be afraid and just definitely go and play around with it.